For this episode, we're going to talk about five reasons to use Spring Boot. The first reason to use Spring Boot is because it comes with batteries included. Spring Boot provides these awesome dependencies called starters. They are, don't have any code, but they just pull in necessary components to build your app with. Instead of having to go find a web container and set it up on a machine or, or an app server, you can instead add Spring Boot Starter Web to your build file. That will pull down Spring Web MVC, Jackson for doing JSON serialization and deserialization, and we'll also add Apache Tomcat to your build. In this case, we're talking about embedded Apache Tomcat. No need to stand up a server or anything. You can just run the app right there. There's dozens of starters provided by Spring Boot, and there's also many provided out in the uh, community by third parties. You want to use security? There's a starter for that. Do you need to code some uh, rules engines and stuff? Spring Integration has a starter. Do you need to build a hypermedia powered API? There's a starter for that as well. All these things make it easy to get off the ground fast because you just add them to your build file. Now we're gonna keep talking, except I got a task to do. The second reason to use Spring Boot is because of fat jars, or what's also known as Uber jars. Every dependency in your build file gets pulled in. Those starters we talked about in the first reason, everything in there gets pulled in. Spring Web MVC, Jackson, Embedded Apache Tomcat, whatever you put into your app gets pulled in to the jar file. Spring Boot has a special plugin for both Maven and Gradle, and it turns it into an executable jar file. Oliver Dropbomb once said, basically you can run an app anywhere you can find a JDK. This is perfect for those air-gapped environments. If you work on a closed system where you have to carry out a release on a CD every time you want to do something, don't carry out the software, carry out an entirely runnable application and install it in the environment. All you need to do is put the ver proper version of Java on there. What if you're using things like Docker or Kubernetes where you're doing a container-based orientation? It's perfect for those environments, you just need to pick the right container. The third reason to use Spring Boot is because of auto configuration. We don't get any extra points for spending time on configuring servers, standing up racks and stuff like that. Instead, our managers want us to get coding on the business related stuff immediately. Spring Boot has the ability to look at your class path and automatically configure extra beans and things like that. For example, if you put Spring Web MVC on the class path, Spring Boot's going to say, oh, you probably need some view resolvers, template engines, and the related components. Spring Boot can also spot if you have things like Apache Tomcat, or Undertow, or Reactor Netty on the class path, and it will configure them automatically and stand them up with the default port. All these various components have auto configuration policies in Spring Boot. Spring Boot lead developer Phil Webb once said that if Spring Web Framework were a collection of ingredients, Spring Boot would be like a pre-baked cake. The idea is, with the cake, you can get off the ground real fast. All you want to do is make tweaks and adjustments. You can go further than that by writing your own beans, but the point is to not spend too much time on infrastructure and instead get to the business of your application. Probably 90% of the components that you need can be figured out by just looking at the class path. But then again, aren't 86% of statistics made up on the spot? The point is, by using auto configuration, you can cut down the amount of time you spend wiring infrastructure and get to the business related stuff fast. And now it's time to pick up the minions. The fourth reason to use Spring Boot are injectable configuration properties. You remember Phil's cake example? Several of the configuration settings in Spring Boot have property settings. You can adjust the port number with a single property setting. There's no need to define a whole bean. What Spring Boot will do is if you define custom beans, it'll back off and let you use your own bean for a particular configuration setting. But in some cases, you don't need to go that far. You need to set maybe one or two properties on that bean, and you can do that. So. Most of the auto configuration settings that come with Spring Boot have property settings, so you can get in there and tweak the small stuff. And here's the good news. 
any app that you build, you can write your own configuration properties and have your own beans. It's really quite simple. Sometimes the simplest stuff that you need to do is alter some set is alter some settings. For example, maybe you have one set of settings that operate when you're in development, but you have a different set of properties that you need when you go to production. Spring Boot lets you create different profiles of configuration settings and you can switch to them with ease. It's a common paradigm that you're going to work in a development environment, you need to take your app into some testing environment, and finally you're going to deploy it to production. All of these scenarios have different configuration settings, and with Spring Boot, it's a snap. The fifth reason to use Spring Boot is because it's a reliable stack. Spring Boot manages over 200 versions of the Spring Portfolio and third-party libraries. When you add them to your build file, you don't have to set the version number. Spring Boot already picks it. And when you run into the scenario of, well, what version of Spring Security do I need with Spring Session? You don't have to figure that out. Spring Boot's already got that managed. Just add the two to your, to your build file and you're set. This also comes in play when you're using the starters. And the other thing is, the Spring team is very focused on backwards compatibility. All you have to do is go in and bump up the version number of Spring Boot that you're using, and all these versions will move up together. And if it's on a, either a minor or a patch release, you know that it's going to be a stable update. That all in all makes for a solid web stack, which is one of the reasons why Spring Boot has become one of the most popular toolkits for building modern apps. Thanks for watching 5 Reasons to Use Spring Boot. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my other videos. Yeah, so for today's take, we're going to put a squirrel on the phone here. I'll use the tripod. I'm trying to figure out what's the best angle of the light.